That's recording. Are yours is recording? Yep, I've got the uh, GoPro over there. I've got another small spare camera over there. I've got yep. the Sephora filming on the hand meet. And obviously we've got the video call coming through on this. I yep, don't know right if you so can record this. Can you record this? Yep. No, not off there, we'll just use the stuff off your camera. So I'll count to three and then clap your hands so I can sync the audio, okay? So one, two, three. Yeah, that's will do. Right then. Royston, you are the chosen person for tonight's interview. The public chose you, so for the viewers, can you just confirm your full name? Royston Aloysius Spencer Disraeli Mason. Kidding. And that, no, can, Roy Mason. Or no, I'll, I'll Space take, Boy. I'm taking the first answer. <laughs> right, so can you do, I've got the list of questions here. Jesus Christ. Can, can you just confirm I haven't showed you any of the questions? I wish you would, you did. Well, that's what it is. Right then, this is going to be our Christmas special with Royston, the Space Balls. So we put out there who you wanted me to interview next, and everybody picked you, Royston. So you must be very popular, or there's something about you people want to know. Are can, you ready? Can, can, can I ask you a favour? Well, I know what your favours are like. No, no, listen. I want to swap this audio over now to be... I, I can hear you, but it's very low. Go on then, swap the audio over. So, I'm going to have to transfer it over to this. Leave your cameras recording. Hello? Yeah. Fucking Hello? Madly, here we are. Right now, Roy's promise is not going to swear too much, but you might hear a few beeps in the video. Right. Hello, can, can you hear me now? I'm just changing the video. You're going to have to accept this other one. Right, hold on then. Let me kill that one. Okay, is that better? That loads better, that is. That is. Is that working okay? That's fine, that is. Well, that's funny because now I've lost it. Uh, right, okay. Right, try that now. Is that better? Yes, yeah, it was a bit yeah, yeah. definitely just. Yeah, I can hear you now. Right then. Okay then, Royston. So we're not going to swear too much tonight, are we? I don't swear. You're the one that swears. You can f off. I rest my case. There you go. Right then, Royston, we're going to start with the first question. Are you ready? Oh, there's, no names, there's no names to these questions, so we don't know who's asked them. I'll know on some of them, I'll tell yeah. you this now. Some, yeah, some of them you'll guess. Right, first one. How many motorcycle-related things do you buy a year compared to how many you sell? <laughs> <laughs> now, that is a good one. Um... Do you want to just explain the story? Probably beyond where you think these questions come from. Um, I don't, What's I, the, honest to God, I mean, I do sell a lot of the stuff I have. I'm what you call an impulsive buyer. And I'll see something and I'll think, I want that. And I'll buy it and then I'll think, no, it's no good want. for me or it's a piece of shit. Or, oh, sorry. You know what I mean? And you can so say I shit. Up, shit's okay. Oh, shit's okay. That's cool. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I only get rid of stuff I don't really like. I mean, I've kept you. Yeah. What can well, I say? You seem, you seem to like it at the time when you buy it. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the case. That's always the case with me. Because we're, um, we're thinking of starting up a little business before you went with Roy called Roy Bay. Ah, yeah, everyone's telling me Roy Bay. Yes, I know. Roy I mean, Bay. it's all. Yes, yeah, so well, Roy's very, you keep he's very picking keen on me. Things. Where? Listen, shut your mouth. You keep picking on me. Where? Where bloody 
bag beef and bloody victim. Good. No, no, Vic, Vic's next on the interview stage. I've done the outro. Yeah, so we're going to save it for it. Okay, then that's question number one. Question number two. Roy, have you always lived in Newcastle? Um, in the Newcastle area, yes, I was born in Stoke-on-Trent. Which, but there's only two or three miles in difference. But yeah, it's all in this area. When I, I was first born in uh, May Street, Birdland. So have you, have, you ever left, the, have you ever lived anywhere else? Or have you always lived there? No, I've always lived in the Stoke-on-Trent area. Unfortunate for them. Okay, we're going to move on because some, some questions will... There'll be quite a uh, bigger answers. Okay, Roy, are you more conf confident on your Africa twin, and where and where would you want your next European road trip destination to be? So, are you more confident now on the twin, and where do you want to go next? I want to go everywhere. I want to see everything. I, it really kills me not being able to do that Switzerland too and I know sometimes I look out and I think oh my god they had some they put up with some right shit weather and I did the right thing by not going but then I look out and well, I think to myself I kicked myself so much where that was concerned you know what I mean and yeah. I never want to ever ever miss going abro abroad more than anything I want if you said you were going abroad on your motorbike Two or three times a year, I'd be there with you. I wish I could. Two or three times a year. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. It's the same think, here in this country. Mm, I, see, I think you made the right decision now, Roy. I mean, you know, so I don't think Switzerland was any harder than... It was easier than what I thought. I expected these passes to be a lot more technical. But yeah, I think, as you said... You said to me when you did them... You, you weren't getting no real enjoyment out of it because you had to do a lot of concentrating, especially on that first yeah. night. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, yeah, that's where, the one where thing. Where everyone else could have a laugh. Where, where everyone else could have a laugh. Mm. You had to have your sensible head on all the time. Mm. That's the only thing, I suppose, leading the pack in it. It's, yeah. You know, but I'm, yeah. You know, I'm taking it, I'm judging the corners and that's how you guys can relax. And, but that's my job. That's my job. So you want to go everywhere. So uh, how are you feeling with the Africa Twin? Are you confident with it? No, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, I have dropped it in. In uh, how many hours? Get knocked. <laughs> I have dropped that back. I couldn't even tell you the last time I dropped that back. No, Again. It was it was um, Ellen Valley one, which you didn't drop it. You just lost the back end on the grass. It was wet grass. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I suppose the other one was when you decided to lie down on Nathan and rest up. You, told, you decided to rest the foot oh, with your own flashes you, bike. No, no, no. What it was, and that wasn't on the Africa Twin. Tell, yeah, go through the story. To tell the story what happened, Roy, with this. Well, basically, it was a, a joining, a love joining of Suzuki GS. X1250 Bandit and a Ducati, is it called a Multistrada? Multistrada, yeah. Right, and they, they just wanted to get together and make babies. But I think that Nathan, well, I thought he was, I thought he was infertile. Uh, in he was like a Jaffe, a seedless <laughs> orange. But he proved us all wrong where that's concerned, and I'm ever so glad. That's baby but, number two. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait, I can't wait. I'll tell you what, those bellies she's getting so big, so big, she's really amazing me. I mean, my granddaughter, she's just gone four, and Bella is nearly just as big as what she is. They grow so quick. That's a problem. They grow too quick. I mean, look how you turned yeah. out. You was a baby at one point. Well, it's so you on. think. I think my dad used to call me an issue. Call you what? An issue? An issue, uh, A big issue. Because you know what it was? <laughs> issue, issue, or fall down. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's where it comes from. Right, Royston, 
Come on, we're moving yeah, on now. On. Right then. Uh, Tell us how you first met the Motor F team. Can you remember our first... I can remember our first conversation. But I'm trying to think the first time we actually met. The first conversation was when I phoned you and we was going to Normandy for the first time. That's right, yeah. Because yep. uh, you had a, a dropout. You had a dropout. And no, we, don't, we didn't have a dropout. We got the villa we hired had got, um, what was it now? Was it not? It was nine beds. Yeah. And there was only like yeah, about five of us I going. remember it was something like that. And I was literally, because you said to me, I was your first port of call, yep. and that, that that made me want wanted. You know what I mean? But you haven't got a passport, had you at that point? I don't. No, I hadn't. I mean, the wife doesn't want me, but she humbled with me. No, I'm kidding. I don't think all that long. She, I wouldn't have my Africa twin. I wouldn't have half the gear or all the gear that no. I've got. If, if it wasn't for the... Yep, she's, uh, she's a good one you've got there, Royston. And, 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 I mean, yeah, but you were seeing her behind my back. Oh, you know, these things have to be done. I was just prepping her ready for you. Well, I think Piggy did you see that by you did, yeah. Mate. Well, yeah, Piggy was first. But no, it was as, as, a, as a good egg, as a good egg. But yeah, uh, yeah. actually, I can't remember the first time we actually met. When, would we, when did we meet? Was it, it when you and, yeah. was it when you did you was it when you and Piggy come down we went to that calf boy mate? Just before France. Or would it have been before that? No, 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 we'd we met before then because that was when because when me, me and Piggy come down to you, he was bringing you them first aid kits down if you remember. That's it, yeah. For, for France. So obviously you'd already asked me and obviously I couldn't go because I hadn't got a passport or whatever. Yeah. So after I could go, your next port of call was Peggy. Yes, that was so it, So you yeah. see, Peggy, I, I was thought of, I am thought of more than you, Peggy, but only in a sexual way. Yeah, we've all got up those ways. Right, okay then, Royston. Uh, Ron, yeah, well, let's move on. Out of all your tours, which one is your favourite one? France. France, 100%. Yeah. Getting off that train. That was a magical moment. What I going, said, up that, I'll going, up that, going up that ramp. And yes, I've done it. I'll put that clip in and there, the, actually. It's like, I mean, I said it there and then. And that was all thanks to you and Sarah. Bonjour and welcome to France, boys. Thank you. Yay! I have done it. I am here. I am in France. Thank you, Motorev. And thank you, Sarah. <laughs> You're welcome, Royston. It's good to have you here, buddy. <laughs> it was, it was, um, it was a mission. You know what I mean? That was one in that year, Roy. It was, it was. It was a mission to get you there, but we did well, it. I, mean, I, don't know if, I don't know if you had words with Goose at any point over that because he was faffing all on that tour he was faffing on me something rotten he was are you all right are you this are you, you know what i mean yeah because i he remember was, he, he was going out of his way with me goose was yeah i'm sorry i can remember talking with goose and saying that you know we need to make because we knew it was going to be that mad heat wave yeah can and, i just do something what you need to shit no let me put that up in the camera I need a drink. Oh, actually, yeah, let me hold on. Let me have a drink. I love these bloody modules. These, yeah, these modules are great talents, aren't they? What are you drinking, Roy? It's just a bit of side in this thing. Copy, 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 whatever you call it. I've got a bit of red diesel. She bought, she bought them for me. Oh, you're on that bloody muck again. I call it Calpol. Yeah, so, as we were saying... I used to love car parts. I'm leaving this up for you. You still do, yeah. I I saw the camera's working anyway. Because I have a lovely camera anyway. Yeah, I can remember... 
it wasn't long after your stroke, was it? That's me. It wasn't that long before we was going on two, and I remember, like, I remember saying to Goose that, you know, obviously there's going to be a heat wave, it's going to be extremely hot, you know, obviously. That's need, right. Yeah, 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 when tablets. I had that blood, I had my blood clot on my brain, yes. Yeah. Well, yes, no, it was, you, yeah. you had a blood clot in your head, I wouldn't say it was on your brain, because there ain't much of a brain there, is there? Get off. Yeah, so, you know, it was, uh, well, we knew it was going to be, it was a big thing for you, it was your first yeah. time abroad, you know, obviously you'd, you'd only not long recovered from that blood clot, you know, so it was, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I mean, I still watch it when, when I talk now. There's still a bit of a slur, there's always a slur there, but that, I'm just me, I'm used to that. Mm. And everything else, every other part of me works well, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? We know, we know, yeah. Don't forget, me yeah. and Goose did sleep in the barn with you in Talon Valley, so we, d we do know everything else of your works. I'm saying nothing where that guy has been saying. These swingers and his bloody... But no, he, he, oh, yeah. he's good goose, not that he's, he's a good... Uh, he's the mother he's hen. He's the, he's the mother hen in the group. He, he's fantastic. He is awesome guy. One of the best people I've ever met in my life. The only thing that I didn't like that... You were there was, somewhere, but you're not in this league. He's better than you. When we went to Switzerland, because obviously there was a room of three... And then next door to us was the rumour too. So Goose was in with Vic. And he was making Vic yeah. a coffee in the morning and not making me one. I've got to say... Yeah. That must have upset, that must have upset, upset you. Wrong, I that. couldn't say Pop with all them daggers in my back. <laughs> right then, next one. You ready? Yes, yeah, one. Uh, right, okay. What is the best thing about being a member of Motorev? Mates. Mates, yeah. But it's not just us in our little clique of mates. Everyone who you yeah. can talk to on the page, on anything, it's, they're all good lads. Yeah. There isn't a bad lad on there. There isn't a single bad lad on that page. All oh, girls. Mm. I'm good girls as well. Yeah, Goose. You know what I mean? Goose is neither. He's transgender. Uh, where you call Goose, him. Goose is trans, trans, Goose is trans gentle. Gentle, yeah. Trans <laughs> gentle. Yeah, yeah it no, is a, it's a family, I mean, it? it is it? It is a family, literally. I mean, we, I said, it, we've met that many people. And, uh, I mean, you've got, uh, I, I, will, I will say that the one person that's always said this, uh, where we're concerned, with most of them, our, in, in our little group, what we've got the WhatsApp and whatever, I mean, motorway is all we've got. He's got it right. He's got on the nail. If you're not thick skinned enough for this group, you know what I mean. You're wasting your yeah, time. Yeah, you've got you've got to be able to take a good a good a you good are, amount of grief you to, to be in a in the group. But you know, yeah. you got to not only have you got to be able to take it, you've got to be able to give it. You know when. Um, well, yeah, but I keep saying I'll give it, but no one bloody up, no one takes it. You'll run! I've heard you to receive her anyway, why not a giver? Right, okay then, here we go. Uh, who do you think is taller, Vic or Flash? <laughs> That's got to be from Noodle, that is. Who's the tallest? <laughs> it sounds like a Noodle, Jim, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, who's the tallest? Who's the tallest? Who's the tallest? So Vic still is the dwarf. Because he looks like a stealth machine anyway. Yeah. He is, isn't he? I mean, he's like a, what you call him, an uncle lumpus. <laughs> what is your opinion on rear bumpers for motorcycles? I think, is that, refer rear. Is that referring to when you went into the back of Nathan? Rear bumper? No, because you won't remember, I also did it with Flash. Oh yeah, you did it, yeah, you mounted him from behind. Yeah, you see. Again, you see, that was... I was not, that was Africa Twin, that time, yeah. that one was. That's when you was rev bombing. And that was... And you wasn't in neutral, well, was it? <laughs> on a D, have you ever tried rev bombing the DCT? 
It doesn't work, mate. Well, it doesn't no, work. I think Flash found that out as well. Yeah, it just costs a bit of art taking a bit of money. Okay, yeah, next one. <laughs> Why is it you are so sexy? Why am I so sexy? Yeah. I think it's the elephant trunk what does it. Probably is. Down at Elan. Now that one, that and the river, you know what yeah. I mean? I mean, when people saw that with me, I was just... Yeah. You were sparkly, weren't you? Oh my God. I'm a go I'm a go I'm, I'm, see, I don't hide it. I don't flaunt it. Well, I don't. I do, but you know what I mean. But so you, I'm sure you've spelt that the right way round. God. Eh? Have you spelt it the right way? You ain't got the words the opposite way round. You're my dog. Yeah, it's true. There, it's true. Who is your favourite motor river, and for what reason? And you can only pick one. Who's your favourite? Goose. And why? Goose, 100, 100 million percent. Hold on a minute. Goose. Because, I Hold mean... Hold on, stop, 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 stop. He will stop, go out. Stop, my GoPro's gone off. Hold on. My GoPro's gone off. Hold on. Oh, don't tell me it's overheated. Let's try it again. Okay, I'm back. Right, so you said goose. Right. Yeah, 100% it's got to be goose. Because that guy always goes out to... Look at, like, with us, I mean, yeah, I have to fight with him when we go out. Yeah. But I'll, I'll, I'll buy this breakfast goose or whatever. It's always... He's got to get in there. He is. He's a very, you know very, very generous he guy. Will go, he will go out his way for... Anybody. He went out of his way in Switzerland to make Vic coffee. I know that. Didn't yeah. go out of his way to make me right coffee. I went your way and went to went with Vic, yeah. Right. Two times again, it you is, see. Okay, so, when did you leave school and what was your first job? Oh, God. Right. First job was working on a firm called J.H. Mudford's. Haulage, and I was what's called plastic welder. You know, on lorries, HUVs, yeah. you, start, you you get the big uh, PVC sheets, you know, the yes, yeah. holes, whatever. And when they'd come in, I can just want you to repair them, whatever. They all they needed the plastic welding, you know what yeah. I mean? Patches, put in and whatever. And that was my job when I left school, that one. Oh, I told them the GoPro's gone again. I think it's overheated in this media mod. Are you only using that one camera? No, I've got me 360 on. Where's it? But what, what I'll do then, I'll have to use just the audio from, from this now. Yeah, I mean, obviously, my GoPro, which just keeps yeah. it's overheated. But it is quite warm in here. Yeah. Right, so you was a plastic welder? Yeah, yeah, I did that from when I left school. And, and when was that? What yeah. year were we talking? 1920s? Oh god, 1970, around 77, 78, there it is. God, I was only what? 77? I would have been three. But you were a twinkle in your dad's yes. eye, yeah. I was a twinkle in somewhat. You see, this is why, I mean, I, 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 I even get people right now and they'll say to me, oh, but I want to tell them how old I am. You say, no way are you that old. So, you you know so your first mean? job... And what was that, 77, 78, did you say? Around 77, 78 when I left school. Yeah, straight from school, straight doing that. So you left yeah. school when you was 50? Mm -hmm. I think you just yeah. got that. You can have it, you can keep it. Okay, oh, yeah, next one. What were, what was you like as a child growing up? I bet you it was a nightmare as a kid. Um, I was a bit of a bastard. Yeah, I used to go scrumping a lot. Was you a good lad or was you a, was you a proper boy? You know, was you just up to mischief and... Um, always in trouble. Always in trouble. Serious, serious I... trouble or just 
boy trouble. Oh no, just boy trouble and whatever. Like I mean, a lot of the trouble was what trouble for me was because if I was out with my brother mm -hmm. Tommy, now if he did something wrong or whatever, or got in a fight with somebody, and he was a buggy, he'd like to tell you. But and I didn't jump in. Then my dad had the big strap would come out. My fault. Always my fault. It's always your fault now, whatever happens. Exactly. This yeah. is it, you see, yeah. Okay then. Nothing changes. What's your bike in history? When did you start? How old were you? And what was your first bike? Right, yeah. Just turned seventeen. I had a Yamaha YB one hundred Mark One, the Deluxe model. Was it brand new? And it was ripped. Yeah, listen, no, it wasn't. It was second hand. <coughs> and um, it, the registration was OEH five nine P. And I, it's just one what stuck with me all my life. Just remembering that one, you know what I mean? It's still on the road, you know. No, no. I've done some checks, and no, it's not around that. Area. Okay, next one. So yeah, my first one was my Yamaha. I had a fair few Yamaha two-stroke one hundreds. Like uh, I've had in my time, I've had two or three, maybe four Yamaha YB one hundreds. Then I had an RS one two five, RXS one hundreds, and you know, I mean, around that age. More two strokes than four strokes. You like a couple of strokes, don't you? I like a good stroke and a good tickle. Goose will tell you that. Yes. Okay, then next. Do you ride all year round? Well, that depends what you call riding. Because lately the missus just, just ain't putting out. It's because she's busy with Piggy, that's why. That's it, all year, yeah. Well, we've all got off our Christmas no, treats. No. You do yeah. get it if we get to the cafe, and that it's. Oh, yeah, 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 but that's not right. You said riding all year round, and I'm not an all year round biker. Because obviously I'm semi retired yeah, Bobby, now anyway. You, you so. don't just stick it just to just to summer, do you, and put the bike away in the winter? If summer's on, you'll go out if there's a meet up. And... Oh, yeah, if I can, if I can, sometimes, yeah. Like, I mean, the other week, I mean, we went up to the Raven yeah. and whatever. When it was us, and what, did I go on back there? Uh, yeah, because I, I went up to the Army 125, yeah, I did. Yes, you did, yeah. You went on the 125. Yeah, I went on my yeah. lift, didn't Okay, I? then, next one. What powder do you use on your love sack? Johnson's, it's got Johnson's. to be Johnson's, mate. <laughs> the powder that that throws up, mate, it's honest to God. It, well, I mean, the video should be free. Well, yeah, actually, what I'll do now, I'll pull up the clip from when we went to France um, of Roy's little episode um, with him using talcum powder. So I'll just explain, just before the footage comes up, I'll just explain a little bit of the story. So we're on this country road in France. It's What has it got to be? 40 miles along this road so we're on the yeah yeah, yeah it's a big long we're, road we're on this road yeah. for about a good hour there was a couple of picnic benches yeah. there if you remember that was it yeah there was a little pull in we pulled in obviously again it was that heat wave it was a bit hot and right opposite where we pulled in there was this was lovely little lovely little cottage cottage yeah, little, cottage once yeah it was nice and yeah. all you could see this little old woman bobbing up and down you know doing a bit of cigar, yeah, yeah pruning a bush and and stuff and then <laughs> and then Roy decides he's got he's got a, he's got, he's got some sweaty saddle bags I didn't decide it just had to be done yeah. it had to be done so we, I couldn't I was chafing me and then he just decided to lob about and powder them up so anyhow this is the footage of that
Yeah. Okay, so we're back. Um, Stoke or Port Vale? I take it. Is that football? Port Vale. Port Vale. Are you a football fan? Mm, not for a fair few years, I haven't. No, we used to go to Port Vale a fair bit. Like, could be I used to go down when me could be granddad and all well, all my family lived literally by Port Vale. All the Masons and me Dales, me, me, Masons from me Nana Mason, me granddad and all that. And then you've got the Dales, which is me mum's side of the family, me granddad Dale, me Nana Dale and whatever. And I used to go odd times with me granddad Dale. Well, but my mum, I mean, she's football bloody crazy, I mean. She's done a stop now. Is she one of these football hooligans? She, honest to God, yeah. Right, okay, next one. Next one, next one. Uh, back in the day, who did you have the hots for? Debbie Harry or Kate Bush? Or, or neither? No. Oh, Tina on, Charles. Tina Charles. Oh, I love to love, but I can't get out of a chance. No, no. No? No, you lost me on that one. No, you don't know. Did you what, else did you, what else did you do? Sing and dance. Well, actually, she did have a bit of a claim to fame. And she went to... Well, I used to go to Crackley Bank School. The yeah. junior school, like, and whatever. Crackhead Bank and School? Crackley. Crackley oh, Crackley. Bank. And when we were younger, I was about six or seven and she used to sit next to me in classrooms but we had you know whatever but uh, obviously i mean after so long she moved whatever she, career, she reported blah, blah, yeah blah. <laughs> but yeah tina charles tina charles she was the one i used to love to love not if you still out there tina charles the famous roy is still here <laughs> What's your favourite tipple? What's your favourite drink? You don't drink much, do you? I don't drink. You're a big drinker. No, like, I, mean, I like a nice cider, but it's got to have some of that fruity flavouring in it, so mm -hmm. that's not too bad. I used to drink, used to drink, but I used to drink uh, DPAs, uh, ales, if you know what I mean, like British ales, whatever, like dark and mild and stuff like that. Okay, next one. EastEnders or Coronation Street? Fucking neither. Yeah, same here. Pants, mate. Pants. Yeah, can't be doing with it. Who do you love more, your wife or your biking brothers? Now I know who said this. And let me Who's tell that? you something. Who, 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 who's asked this? I know it's the wife. Because <laughs> she told oh, me. Right, but I'll tell you now. I would give everything up for my life. Mm. Biking, everything. I would give it all up for it. But it's all on the opposite way. She goes out of her way, more so for me, 100 million percent. Maybe she wants you out of the way. That's why she encouraged you to go on your bike. Because well, it was funny. There is, there, is a, there is a good insurance policy there, let's just say yeah. that. Because but... I remember she did phone me when we went to France and she says, like, you know, you know, we're more than happy if you put some oil on his brake discs and that and things like that. Well, yeah, it kind of makes sense now. Yeah. Okay, next one. Uh, where would you be without your motor of family? So, say you went and met us, where do you think you'd be you now? I'd have been finished. I'd have been finished biking. I wouldn't be doing it. I would not be doing biking now if it weren't for you. Full motor head, but more so for you. Because every day, if not every day, every other day, you're always there. You're always phoning me. How are you, Roy? What, you know what I mean? I haven't heard from you. What's up with you? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I would be... I wouldn't even be... I'd be a cabbage sitting there on that settee. In that case, I might stop phoning you then. <laughs> oh, that, that finger again. Okay, next one. 
What do you look forward to most about the summer tour? And is there anything you don't like about going on tour? Not a thing that I don't like. I love all of it. More so, I love the banter. The ba when yeah. we're on the bikes, yeah. the banter. It's fantastic. And it's a shame, isn't it? Because a lot of the banter we can't put in the footage. Exactly. Yeah, I'd, probably, I'd, I'd probably say 90% of it gets cut out, but it, it is a... Yeah. It is, a, it is just a week of taking the pee out of each other and just having a laugh, and it's, it's honest that's, to God, that's it what is, it's yeah. about. Okay, who do you think is the best rider in Motorev, and who is the worst rider? So, who do you think is the best rider? rider? I'd have to, the worst rider, I'd have to say, is me. I yeah. will say, I will hand it down and say, it is me. You know Why well, would you say you're the worst rider, though? Yeah, you've probably got more water experience than most of us. A, a lot of it's to do with confidence. I mean, but yeah, it's me when, when it comes to weird that The best rider, uh, I'm not going to say Piggy, because he's just an out now. He knew who he is. <laughs> he's, yes, I mean, I, you know what I mean? I know if, the they did boy, exactly. if they did motorcycles, which were like just monobikes with one wheel, he'd still find a way of making it do a yeah. wheel. He would, he would. But yeah, but, but I, couldn't, um, actually, I couldn't think actually who is the best rider because you know, I, obviously, I, I, we, I, I, I couldn't honestly really answer that one because none of us really ride beyond our limits, do we? You know, or no, well, Piggy does sometimes, yeah. in my opinion, but Piggy rides just, beyond his you know limits I mean? when he's stationary, exactly. Just thinking about it, yeah, okay. All right, then, next one. What's your most memorable biking moment? My most what? Memorable biking moment. You break it up. Memorable break. Biking moment. Biking moment. Yeah. Uh, my first ride, I would say that like uh, more mm. than anything, because when I first got my first bike, the Yamaha RB100. Now, my dad made me leave it at my animations, right? It was always kept in the garage. I'd go over it, and where Port Vale football ground is, there's a large bit of spare ground. Now, it was all tax, MOT, insurance, everything, and whatever, but he just wouldn't let me go out. So I got a bit of sense behind me, and whatever. So, I... We're still, we're still waiting for that. Oh, I'll get knocked But, yeah, but... This one time, I literally broke all the rules, my dad's rules, oh, and yeah. I just came home on it. You know what I mean? And normally I'd get out in the shed, the but round and round the garden and all up the ash lanes and whatever, round here where we, my nan lived and whatever, back up the ground, whatever. And I purposely told them that. Yeah, I put it all off the door, now I'm going now, because they had my push bike and I used to go on my push bike. Come from Chesterton to Bursley on my push bike. Had he got his belt and off weight a few when he got back? No, 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 no. He, he, I would say he was a bit miffed, but no, I mean, I was legal. I was all legal, don't get me wrong, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I just felt I was ready to do it. So I did it. You become a man then. Still waiting for that one. Well, yeah, I agree with that. Okay, next one. Um, what country would you like to tour the most? And which is there a country you would not like to tour in? I don't think there is a country I wouldn't tour. Hmm. Where would I love to go yeah. to more? What would be anything? your dream place to go? If, if, so if someone says to you, right, this summer is the last time you're going to ever going to ride a bike and you can go anywhere yeah. you want on it, where would you go? I'd love to go to Japan. Japan? Japan? Oh. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought that. But that, that said, like, I mean, Japan, Greece, and I love history. I'm mm. a, I love history. My wife would say, oh, God, here we go again. We're having a bloody history lesson, you know what I mean? Like, and that's I just mean, when you're talking about being a kid, isn't it? 
what the fuck can I say? But yeah, I mean, I just like to look places where there's not not so much. My message's idea of being on holiday is right. Yeah, we're gonna go to the city by the pool and just you know what I mean. And that's not me. I couldn't do something like that. I'd want to be out there if I was going Greece. I'd want to go up in the mountains or whatever. You know what I mean? That's what I want to do. Learn. You want to learn. But I've always First had this thing knowledge. about Japan. I love Japan. I said I never knew that one. It wouldn't have been one place I would have thought of. Actually, you would have picked Japan. You never know. It's going to be a long voyage for us to get there. Well, I don't think we'd be able to go on bike. It's one of them so. where if you go in, you yeah. die away, you get there kind of thing, wouldn't it? But okay. If anyone wants to offer yeah. to pay for me to go and go on that trip, I'm available. Sexual favours on request. Yep, leave your comments down below if you're willing to pay for one. Yeah. Okay, next one. Um, why does Vic keep changing his bike? Well, I can't say he's having a midlife crisis because he's gone past that, hasn't he? I mean, he's ready for his bloody pension now. I think he's actually drawing on his pension now. Yeah. What do you think? He keeps changing his bike. Because, I mean, when he had his CBF no. done, he, he loved the bike. He said it was perfect for him. Okay, well, yeah. I love this, he did. That was nice, then the Triumph was nice, and yeah. then that Triumph got the one, it was the one after that, and. Yeah. How long do you reckon? I suppose, I'm not being funny, but I mean, everything comes to an end when it comes to that. And there'll come a time, I'm not saying it can happen now, yep. where he'll say, right, oh, so I'm swapping it again. I'm hoping he does, because he does look as beautiful one this one does. Oh, I hope he does, because I like to go around to have a go on them and make videos. Well, this is it, I mean, he ain't putting out as much, is he? But, still. but yeah, I mean, you'd be, I'm not being funny, if you could afford yeah. it, come I'm, on, be honest, would you be stuck with what you've got now? Yeah, no, I, I said exactly the same to him. I said, if I, if I was in your position yeah. and you could afford to do it, I said, who wouldn't? Do yeah. it, do it, yeah. because you can't take it with you. That's it, yeah. You know, I said, you know, have a, a bog for a couple of months if you think, yeah, I want some a change, and you can do it. Yeah. But, you know, why not? I said, we're only, we're only jealous of him. That's all it is. Okay, this is this one's a good question, Roy. You can pick three people, okay? So three people that can be dead or alive, famous or not. But three people and you're going to invite for dinner. Who would that be? My granddad Dale, my nana Mason, and my dad. That's it. To have a dinner with them or to just have a little chat. Yeah. Does anyone, what, what you do just for five minutes, a chat? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How many times have you dropped your bike? I'm not on about this year, we won about in total. Do you mean throughout years? Yeah. Can you remember? There ain't enough fingers on these hands, baby. <laughs> no, I, I said There I, ain't enough fingers I'm, on these hands. Not this, not this year, I'm on about in total. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. <laughs> I mean, other than... I, was, I, I did my left knee. I did that over twenty years ago. Um, what was I on there? What back was I on there? Nine hundred on the no Yamaha nine hundred diversion, mm -hmm. and the um, car pulled out on me on the main road, and he pushed me, and I went underneath the bus. He nearly did me that one did, and uh, yeah, I had a new knee tap out of that one. And then obviously I've got this kneecap, which I've got now with all the scaffolding on yeah. whatever it is. But and then I've got others like where me tattoos are, where that is there. Underneath that there was a skin graft there from when I was on my 100 cc, and you know you go flying on gravel. And yeah. You put your hands out like that. Where did you, where did I take the skin graft from? Off your ball bag? Nope. Off your little man. Oh no, there we go. 
off your face. <laughs> I'm not using my finger again, I'm not confident. Yeah, you've used that too much. <laughs> Yeah. Okay then. Uh, da, 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 da. We've done that one. We've done that one. Right. Can you wheelie? Can you do a wheelie? No chance. No. no. Um, when I was younger, and I had me two strokes, yes. But I mean, I've tried with. I don't know if it's because it's a DCT yeah. with the Africa Twin and the Honda NC750. What I've had. I mean, but I just. Don't seem to be able to get it up. Where when Piggy, when we went out one time, there was me, him, and James. Yeah, I remember the, the video of that. Uh, he was trying to show you on it. Yeah, it? I mean, and I, I could have buggery get it up, but he climbed on my bike and what? Yeah. He was up. I said, the, but this the, is only, Piggy. the only time I've done a wheelie has been by pure accident and I've shit myself. Piggy is the opposite. Oh, yeah, I've done them, I've done them. The question to Piggy should I be. Did, I did that. Uh, I did that once on me uh, under TC again, where we used to live at Crackley, Chesterton. Crackhead. And uh, I was, what's it like, um, I, I was riding about normal one time, and I didn't even know it was running, so I put it down on my kickstart, I started while it was still running, and it snaps flying off. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I had to always start it by a running bump. No electric start in them days and whatever. So basically, my brother Tommy, he was pushing from behind. So me, and I boom, and started going, and the front end came up, and I went into the park. I mean, literally the park park. And he was like, no, I'm on the back. And we were going, <laughs> it was ever funny. And it was frightening. It was frightening. But so, yeah, so you, I've done it by accident. So you can weedy then? <laughs> Yeah, well, not now, not with all this uh, bad. Right, okay then. So we've got some quick fire questions now, okay? So you've got, Go on. Ready? So you've got to add some as fast as you can without thinking. Chocolate or crisps? Crisps. Chips or salad? Chips. Dogs or cats? Oh, that's a tough <laughs> one, that is. You can't do that. No, 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 no. Because they're trying to get me out another dog again now because I've just lost him. Well, I love my cats. I've got three cats, and I love my cats. Okay, the next. They are they... good stress. They're, they're a good stress reliever. So I'm, I'm going to say cats. So, I'll say okay, cats. Then. So remember, you've got to answer as quick as you can without thinking. Foreplay or what? anal? Foreplay. <laughs> <laughs> all I get nowadays. Okay, that's it. That's your foot cover. Why did you not go to Switzerland? Why didn't you come on the Switzerland tour? Uh, pure and simple because this, of this life. I mean, I do think now, looking back on it, that, that you I have it. would have been able to do it. I, I know I would have been able to do it now. You know what I mean? But um, it's. You know, I, Knowing what we know now and then pass, yeah. Because it was one, I suppose the, th yeah. the thought of them passes being technical, if you would have got it just wrong. Yeah, you know, I, I, I put it down to. You just didn't want me to come because yeah. I wrote to show yeah, you. True, it is true. But we won't go into that. Okay. What is your dream bike? Again, no, money's no option. It sounds stupid to you, but I'd love. I had a Yamaha R, RXS 100 two stroke. Registration, again, I know it's up by R. ERE. 852Y. Now, if I could get a bike again, that'd be the bike I'd have now. Hundred cc. I'll bet you'd be able to find one of them, boy. If you looked. Oh, you can. You can find them. You can find bet them. them. I bet them fetching a couple but of quid. When, when, when they first come out, yeah. When, when they first when they first come out, I had the first one to be sold in our local area. You know yeah. what I mean, like. From Norman and Birchies, where my dad bought it for. So you were the first person in Crackheads to have one? Yeah. Okay. Next one. Top boxes are for life, not just for Christmas. Would you like to uh, elaborate on that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you want... Do you want <laughs> right. I'll, I'll explain that then as you're choking. So Roy, Roy's very keen on buying luggage. He likes to buy luggage, put it on his bike, and then set it. 
then the following day he buys more luggage so that's why I so said just remember why next time you buy a top box it's for life I've had this one I've got now for nearly a year and a half yeah but you bought three at the same time so which one are you referring to? I'm saying nothing. No, no, no. This, this one. Yeah, you're just getting yourself in trouble here. Okay. If you could change, no, you are. if you could change one thing in your life, either the past or present, what would it be? You could change one thing. Maybe something to do with you. Go on that field with or that. something. What's happened? I would not go on that field with my bike yeah. again. As I said, Warnit. When I did many. Yeah, it was um. I mean, what? You've got to have been doing less than three miles an hour. It's got to have been. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Said, it, the damage it did to your leg. But I didn't know this at yeah. the time. I mean, we went to Shrewsbury Hospital. They fogged us off. Oh, go up your local hospital, blah, blah, blah. And I spent the night on the campsite yeah. still. With a broken in leg. In the car. With, well, with the damage. And... When we went there, it was a lot more yeah. serious than what they even thought it was. It was, it was a, it was a right? master break, that was. Okay then. It was. If you led a tour, what would be your priorities? I.e., would you be picking back roads? Would you be picking sightseeing roads? Is it to find chip shops or to find the red light district? So you know, like when I'll pick the tour, I'll find out where we're going. I'll try and find a little bit of a history of the story. But I will do everything to avoid yeah. a motorway. So I want us to go through villages. What would be your priorities? Yeah, but that 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 would be me, like a, a, a nice sightseeing mm. to it. That's a fact finding missions type yeah. of thing. So definitely not the red light district then. No, no. It's like I mean when we went to that one in France, and we just we were just driving through that village that yeah. one time, and we come across that church and that airplane. Yeah. With yeah. them Americans. I said a completely that, untold you know story. What I mean? And we discovered it. Untold? Not, I've never, nothing yeah. on, I, I, I searched yeah. that on you. Yeah, there's nothing, is there? I've never, nothing from, other than what we've done there. You know what and I mean? you think there's probably got to be Unreal. thousands and thousands more stories like that, which are unknown, you know. Exactly, yeah. Nobody's told them. But maybe that's something we can find in the future. Okay. What do you still want to achieve in life? Have you got any more goals you still want to achieve? I just want to. I just want to keep going and I want to be able to keep riding. That's all I want to do. I think as a boy, I think that's everybody's. I'm frightened to stop. I'm, if I'm honest with you, I'm frightened to stop riding because if ever I stop riding, you might as well bloody die. You know what I mean? Riding keeps, you, keeps you young, doesn't it? That's keeps it. you young. Keeps you going. No, it doesn't keep me young. Well, no, that's true. It keeps me going, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. It keeps you going. It's... Okay. Yeah. If you won the lottery, what would be the very first thing you would buy? So there you go. So tonight you've just won £100 million and it's there in your bank. What's the first thing you're going to go and buy? Big luxury house for Sarah. And where would you live? Where you are now? <laughs> no, 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 no. I just I'd be on the road every day with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, when was the last time you shit yourself? <laughs> Hold on a minute. Wednesday, Tuesday. <laughs> Count you back the days. Yeah. I couldn't tell you, but I am a few times. Yeah, as well. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. You can ask Maverick one question. What is it? Will you marry me? I told you. We wouldn't talk about this on air. We'd keep that only for the hotel rooms. What stays on tour? What, sorry, what happens on tour stays Good. on tour. Stays on tour. Can't be letting secrets like that out, Roy. You get us both in trouble. Okay, the last question. Can you sum up Roy Mason? Well, I'm 60 odd years old. But 
inside I feel like I'm a kid. Yeah. You act like you're a kid. Like the rest of us. We all do. We all do, yeah. don't we? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, honest to God. But, I mean, even my wife and all the kids and whatever, like, I mean, they all say, you need bloody grow up, you do. Where's it get yeah, Exactly. You? Where does it get you? Where does it get you? Nothing better than being a kid, is there? Well, Royston, that's it. Well, I won't be a kid all my life. I that's um, that's all our questions done. That's what the people wanted to know about you. That's not, that's not no, bad, that's pretty good going. As you said, we had some questions I thought we was going to get. And there's some ones there, obviously, some interesting questions. So, Roy Mason, is there, is, up is there anything there. you would like to say to the viewers? In the words of the immortal one, Oosh! Right, it's been a That's pleasure speaking it. to you, buddy. That sums it all it does, up. Right. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Right. So you are our Christmas video for this and year. You, son, and I'm, I'm not going to see you now, this yeah. side of Christmas. It's going to be the other side of Christmas. But no, but well, that. we'll have our we'll have our every night video calls. We'll have our video. We'll have our every night video calls. I'll call you on Christmas morning. Lingerie. I'll call you Christmas morning to see if yeah. Santa's so, coming into this sack. What? Well, what I'm going to do with all this footage then? I'll put it on the laptop. Yeah, and then you I'll do, do that. Your yeah. You transfer like all the footage onto your laptop. Then tomorrow I'll remote on, transfer it to me Google Drive, and then we can have it out just before Christmas. Maybe Christmas sure. Eve, have it out. Whatever. I'll sort it. I will sort it. Royston, it's been a pleasure having you, mate. Merry Christmas to you and your family. And you, son. And, and Merry you. Christmas to all you what's watched. And we'll see you in the new year. Oosh. See you all later, alligator.